Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Jared Trotter, and in today's video, I'd like to show you some ways of managing subassemblies that can help you organize your files a bit more quickly. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get into it. First off, you may bring in a subassembly out of convenience because it has all of the parts you need, but you actually want to restructure it. That's where the dissolve subassembly option is handy. All of the parts and any mates that exist in the subassembly will get pushed to the top level when you right click on a subassembly and select this option. And what's nice is that this does not delete the subassembly file, it's still accessible. But in the context of this top level assembly, it's now broken down into parts and the mates stay intact. They're now grouped with the other top level mates. This can be a great way to rearrange your items, maybe splitting them up between some different subassemblies. However, in terms of managing mates, it's actually better from a performance perspective if we go in the opposite direction when possible. That is, taking components on the top level assembly and creating some subassemblies. This way all the mates aren't being continuously solved whenever the assembly is saved or undergoes a rebuild. So I'll actually just do the opposite of what the operation I just did was and select the components that go with this hinge and select form new subassembly from the right click menu. And again, the mates follow the parts to this subassembly. Next, let's look at creating empty subassemblies from scratch in situations where you will add the components to the subassembly later. We can click the drop down under insert components and select new assembly. We can also right click within the feature tree to access the same option. Choosing the feature tree workflow gives you the added capability to place a subassembly anywhere in the hierarchy. So depending on which component you click on, you can place your new subassembly inside of an existing subassembly or just on the top level. And this creates a virtual subassembly that you can save as an external file later if you want to. There's one more organization tip I'd like to show you to wrap this video up. You can always drag and drop a component from one subassembly to another, but that can be challenging if your feature tree is really long. The faster, smoother way to accomplish this is to go to Tools, Reorganize Components. You are then prompted to select one or more components that you want to move, and then choose the destination assembly which could even be the top level assembly that you're in. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. That's all for now. Happy modeling.